All right, my tube friends, I'm going to show you how to take the clutch apart on a air conditioner compressor for a uh, well, a variety of cars, Toyota, Lexus, models, Camrys, um, some Lexus ES, well, here. I know it's going to be at least these cars. Um, I also think it's some of the Land Rovers, some of the Forerunners. <clears throat> Any of the Toyota cars of this vintage uh, and past that, um, probably down from the late 90s all the way up to the late 2000s, uh, this should apply. Uh, the compressor has um, seemed to last a long time. The clutch is maybe not quite as long. Um, if you have a blinking light, your AC light, when you turn it on, it's usually an indicator that the electromagnet inside here has gone bad or uh, some kind of problem with it. Um, so what you do and of course I've got this one off the car so this is easy to see it's easy for me to tear it down for you but uh, we'll, we'll if I can we'll cover this on how to do it inside the car later but uh, the first thing you're gonna need to do is to take this bolt out of the center that holds the, the clutch disc together it's a got a 10 millimeter head on it I've already got this one out I use my trusty DeWalt impact to uh, rip that thing loose get her out and then what you're going to be faced with here is getting this disc off of the compressor um, so you can there's a variety of the uh, you know the, uh, the pullers that you can put on here AC pullers maybe you can use a harmonic balancer uh, puller set on or something like that or um, what you can do is you this bolt is uh, you know, I don't know what the threads are on it. I'm not exactly sure what the size is, but this actually threads down into the the shaft on the compressor. This disc actually has a bit larger hole on the outside of it, and it's threaded as well. That will take a slightly larger bolt, and if you're lucky, you can do this. You can take a uh, size larger bolt, and you can thread it where it goes into this disc and then it's going to push against that shaft and it's going to pop this disc off of that shaft and I've already done this once I don't know if I can do it by hand or not oh yeah it's gonna it'll pop right off of here okay so you can see the splines and when you take this off um, I don't know if I can show it to you in here or not it might be easier if I just take the bolt out. There are a lot of times, oh, well, there you can see it right down there in the center. Uh, that's not the bottom of that uh, that spline hole. That's actually a washer or a shim uh, that will space these discs apart. When you take this disc off, be very, very careful to um, watch and see if any of those fall out. If they do, you need to you need to recover them. If you can if you use the bolt like I did they'll usually stay on to you take that bolt out and out of curiosity let me see if I can get the size of this bolt so you know what you might need to what you might need to acquire for a job like this all right so I'm doing a little messing around with my tap and die set here and I'll try to show you I don't know if I can really show you one-handed or not but uh, this is the this is my metric um, thread counter so you can see what the thread pitch is on this and it is definitely this is a I'll focus on it this is the 1.25 can we get it there not really there you can kind of see there we go 1.25 and it matches up perfectly with the threads on here absolutely perfectly um, I ran it down into so that's a 10 mil. Here's a 9 mil, uh, 1.5 or 1.25. This is uh, this is big, a little too big. Well, hold on. So this shows 9 millimeter at a 1.2 1.25 thread pitch, but you can see the threads are right on, but uh, it's a little loose in here. Okay, but then when I tried to run it down into the the eight mil eight millimeter size, I couldn't get it in there. So I don't know exactly what size this is, and I'll tell you where this bolt came from. 
Um, this is off of, I had a 1974 Nova, and I had done some uh, replacement of, I don't know, fenders, or maybe that was the hood on there. And these are some of the stock bolts that are on a 1974 Nova, probably any Chevy or GM car of kind of that vintage holding body panels on. And I've always kept a handful of these because they're, not only are they tapered, but they're threaded, tapered all the way down. And I have used these for all kinds of stuff over the years, like, you know, uh, putting these into brake drum holes and popping brake drums off of cars and things like that. Extremely useful bolts to have laying around. And like on this air conditioner compressor pulley, it fit right into, it fit right into that clutch disc and, uh, and popped it off the shaft. So now that I have this bolt out, uh, you will see that there's a washer that is just, it will come flying out on this, on this car. There was only one. Okay. You got to keep it. Keeps things spaced out. Uh, so here, here's where we're at so far. Uh, what we're going to do next is take this snap ring off. Uh, this is one of those external type snap rings. You can't have wimpy snap ring pliers and get this done. I'll show you what I use. On another AC compressor replacement, I found out that the snap ring pliers I had were, like I said, they were too wimpy. Ended up getting these Craftsman's ones with the, uh, you know, all, I think they all have replaceable tips. The 47412 is what I use, and that's what I'm going to use to take that snap ring off. Let's see if I can show it here. And you just spread it out just enough to get it out over Off that guy comes set it over here and then I believe uh, this should come off hold on and it does it's just hard to get enough grip on here one-handed while you're holding the cell phone camera so this comes the basically the bearing comes off of the shaft on here so now you have the pulley along with the clutch disc and the bearing that makes the pulley run. Um, that's what that is. Maybe you're lucky and you just need to replace this bearing. Uh, not the case on this car. So over here, okay, and now you can see the electromagnet that makes the whole thing do its thing. So when you press the AC button in the car, that sends current to this electromagnet. It sucks down that outer clutch disc into this part here that is always rotating. And then your center shaft here begins to spin, compresses all the stuff, and then you get cold air. So that's kind of how it works. Um, yep, you've got another snap ring down in here that will hold on, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the whole rest of this electromagnet piece. And then this should come off, and then basically installation is reverse the removal. I'll walk through it, make sure I don't miss anything. Okay, one other thing I forgot to mention. When you're taking these apart, now, I got lucky, but I kind of already sort of knew too. Um, sometimes these snap rings are beveled. And when you take them off, you need to pay attention to which way was that bevel facing. Was it facing towards the compressor or away from it? This one here is not beveled. But I'm fairly certain that the one I'm about to take off here will be. So when you take it off, don't let it spring and fall down on the ground and all that stuff. Pay attention and, and see which way it was oriented. Okay, so I just got that one off. This was the orientation of it. Set her down here, and then let's have a look. If I can, without... You know what? I'll just do her this way. See? That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. All right, so it was down in here like this. So this flat side here was on the bottom, and I can tell if I can show you. This top side is beveled. I don't know if you can see that. If I got any better light here. So this is about as good as it gets. Um, 
Hopefully this is showing up. I can't really tell, but this is not exactly flat here. On the bottom it is. It's absolutely flat on the bottom. So the way that you want this to go on is you want the flat side towards the compressor and you want this beveled side um, away from it because that beveled side actually goes up under in this groove here. Okay, so that's and that's the way I remember uh, the other ones that I've done being oriented to. Once you get that, see this guy just that's it. It's the end of the end of the game here. You got your electrical connector down here. You need to you need to undo, and then you slap all your new pieces on. And uh, it's it's as simple as that. If the clutch or the magnet is your problem or the bearing. Um, you don't need to take off any lines or pay any high bills or anything like that with getting your AC fixed. That's uh, that's how you do it. So uh, I'm going to make another video in, in uh, succession to this, and I'm going to try to show you how to do this when the compressor is on the car, if, if I can. Um, it's going to be a 2002 Lexus ES300, and I believe the steps I'm going to use on there, you know, take off the serpentine and whatever crap's in the way, alternator will have to come off. There are four mount bolts. Here you can see uh, that hold these compressors on, two and four. Uh, take those out, and then you should have, I'm making assumptions here, folks. You should have enough swing in the rubber part of the, uh, of the pressure lines to get this thing oriented to where you can get this bolt out and get all this stuff off. So we'll see if I'm wrong. It won't be the first time. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, this will apply to many, many different types of compressors. Uh, pretty much, probably except for GM, and they they do hard things. If you have any questions, let me know, and uh, I will do my best to help. Thank you.